Therefore, they end up developing oral skills much later in life. Sometimes they never do. Hi, hello and welcome to another episode of Here Teacher Talks, where I share with you what it is like to be a teacher in China. If you've been in the country for more than five minutes, you probably have noticed that most school Chinese English teachers are women, while most foreign English teachers are men. If you want to find out why I think that is, don't go anywhere and see you on the other side of the intro. Welcome back! If you're new to this show, let me remind you that in this series, we talk about what life is like as a teacher in China. So, if you're interested in this topic, consider adding us on any of these social media platforms that you see right here to see more of our videos, all right? With that out of the way, let's get down to business. First, let us address the question, why is it that most Chinese English teachers are women? Well, here's a fact. Globally speaking, the teaching of young children has long been dominated by women due to historical issues, such as economic development of that country, or the position of women in that society, or sometimes cultural definitions of masculinity, as well as the perceived value of childcare. An interesting study done by the Beijing Normal University in 2012 showed that four out of five teaching positions in urban areas such as Dongguan were held by women. So why is it so pronounced over here? In my opinion, this has to do with the Chinese custom of saving face. As kids, and even more as young adults, Chinese men grow up fearing instances where they may lose face and an oral English class is written with such instances. Therefore, the male students uh, tend to avoid participating in class to the extent that they can get away with it. And well, given the sizes, the large sizes of classes in China, it's very easy for students to fly under a teacher's radar. Therefore, they end up developing oral skills much later in life. Sometimes they never do. So, upon reaching employment age, not only is the pool of qualified male candidates smaller, but when it comes to applying for a job, they simply haven't got the inclination to do so for a teaching job. But it's not simply due to poor English skills. There are other major obstacles. One of them is failure to lure more men into teaching it because of the modest wages that are paid to educators in China. The, the circle of relatives and friends uh, tend to tell other men that they should be ambitious and that teaching is just uh, too stable uh, and too bland of a job. Hopefully, this will change in the future, but for now, let us move on to the reasons as to why the ratio of female to male foreign teachers is so unbalanced as well. I believe this stems from three seemingly unrelated points. The first one is, I think that men just have it so much easier than women here in China. Generally speaking, life in China is tougher for women. China is a male-dominated society, and, and this may lead to some unacceptable circumstances at work for some foreign women, but we, as male teachers, we are probably unaware of those situations. In addition, in my perspective, foreign women uh, are seen uh, as being more empowered and more outspoken than your average Chinese woman, both in the professional and the personal sphere. And as you know, here in China, compliance is seen as a, a great virtue, uh, culturally speaking. Therefore, female teachers tend to be approached by Chinese employers or sometimes even some love interests with, with a certain degree of hesitation. Now, on to the second point. I think that the idea of being a female solo traveler is still considered uh, an adventurous proposition for a lot of Western families. Uh, 
Whenever a foreign female teacher starts thinking about relocating to China, parents and friends may try to dissuade her from, from this idea. They argue well of the dangers that female solo travelers may face in a faraway land such as China. And therefore, when we see a female solo traveler deciding to come to China, it is fair to say that this woman is an independent uh, and uh, adventurous kind of person. On to the third idea. Whenever a female teacher is considering a, a long stint in China, now coming to China for several years, she may ponder, she may think about the prospect of, well, finding a relationship abroad. In doing so, they may realize that finding either a Chinese or a foreign boyfriend may present unexpected challenges. The male foreign teacher ethos paints a diametrically different expectation. For them, it's like, yay, I'm going to China. It's going to be so easy to find a girlfriend. Not so much for foreign women. Now, having said all this, it is interesting to notice that there has been an influx of Eastern European women here in Dongguan, which begs the question, why so? The simple answer is opportunity. A quick chat with any female Eastern European teacher will reveal that the lack of opportunity in their home countries is the main driver for deciding to teach in China. And therein lies the key factor. Many foreign female teachers from other regions of the world feel like they do not need to inconvenience themselves with all these cultural differences and, and these language barriers, etc., etc. The income prospect does not outweigh the hurdles that they will have to go through. There you go, guys. That's why I think these gender imbalances are so strong here in China. Okay, that's all the time we have today. Thank you very much for watching our videos. Please leave your comments or your questions in the comment section down below. And don't forget how it goes, eh? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content that we're putting out, then consider following us on the social media links that you see right here. And until I see you again, take it easy. Bye for now.